All right, welcome back to the front. Um, I'm going to continue uh, recording on the Cyberpunks server. This is now a community, open community server. Uh, details are on the Discord, so you can join the server now. Um, <clears throat> there are 10 active slots currently, I and mean, if necessary, we can uh, upgrade that. Uh, if people are finding it hard to get on. Um, what I'm going to do now, since in the last video I showed you, you know, the basic weapons, um, let's let's put them in practice. So I've currently outfitted myself with um, what I consider like the minimum army that you need, and that's the leather armor. There's my normal steel armor over there, or iron armor over there. Um, and I've given myself some basic weapons. I haven't given myself the assault rifle. Um, yet, but just, I've got the, uh, shotgun, the bolt rifle, as you can see, um, level 28 for the SMG, level 26 for the bolt rifle, level 15 for the shotgun, obviously level 4 for the bow. So, let's, let's take on a, um, <clears throat> an Empire outpost that's down here towards coast. Now, the introduction of the flying um, patrol sergeant, I think he's called, does make things a little bit more difficult because he has a very high damage output. But um, we might be able to mitigate that by just, you know, kind of being a little bit sneaky. But um, <clears throat> I have prepared for dying because I, I might die. <laughs> so I've put some sleeping bags down. So what we're going to do is we're going to approach the base, the Empire base, and we're going to try and clear it out using the most basic weapons available to us. So we want to try and actually, he's got a lot of health. Now, bear in mind, on the Cyberpunk server, I have a up the uh, range damage output by five so default is one and this is set to five reason for that is um the range damage is actually pretty awful uh, as, as default um it takes three arrows to kill a rabbit which is no <laughs> that's just no, 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 no. So let's see if uh, we can get it. Oh, I got his attention. Okay, so I've done some damage to him. Come on. There we go. And he's down. All right, let's take a moment to use some bandages here. See, the armor helps, but <laughs> it's not fantastic. I'm gonna use my bolt action rifle on that guy. But while well, I may have a lot of ammunition right now, um, your first time that you're taking on an Empire Outpost, you may not have. You may have more arrows than bullets. So I'm going to try and do this mostly with the buff arrow. If I can hit the guy in the head. Ah, oh, look at that. Great shot. And he's down. Now we take a moment to heal up. Okay. 60 H uh, 60 HP from one banish if you let the, the banish run for full time. 120 HP. 
going to have to do something about that patrol sergeant very soon. Because he's getting pretty close. Now the... <laughs> he's a bit of a bastard because he's up in the air. It makes it really hard to hide from him. So I'm going to regain as much health as I can. You don't have to worry too much about the respawn times. Even this this is all set on default uh, on the server and they take quite a, bit, quite a while to respawn. Okay. Let's pop another bandage. I may have to nip back to the base and make some more bandages here for myself. That's heating up. What have we got there? We've got infantry. Taking out the commandos so we can get a little bit closer. Oh, there's two of them. Ah! Hitboxes. Ooh, he's got a big gun. I think he's got an assault rifle. Oh, shotguns. So nice. Yeah, definitely, if you can get in close with them. They will do damage. They will do huge amounts of damage. Where did that other guy go? It's safe to loot this quickly. Oh, no bandages. Okay. That would have been nice. Where's that patrol sergeant? He's right up there. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of rocket soldier here as well. Bit cheeky. They aren't too much of a problem. If you can avoid the the volleys, you can avoid their volleys. Then um, I think we're going to have to take this guy out. Brian and head. Shift to steal your shot. You move just as I was ready. Oh, nice shot. And Wait for you to finish firing. And down. There we go. Look at that. Come on. Can't get up there. Okay. That's a wild ball. Yeah, there was somebody walking around that side. Commander. Ow! And he got me. Didn't move away in time. <laughs> That's what happens. I should have moved. Waited for him to finish shooting. Okay. That's our first respawn. And a level up. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's just run up here, see if I can grab my bag. I love that move function. Right. <clears throat> I'm use up these bandages and then I'll go and get some more. That 
was a surprise. There we go. Shotgun to the rescue. Nice. Thank you very much. Nice blueprint there. I don't need it, but... Yeah. Let me take this guy down, see if I can get a little closer. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> Got me. Bit of aimbotting going on there, I think. <laughs> AI will be AI, right? Alright, um, I do still have one shot in this shotgun, so maybe I can get him with that. At least I hope I can. Nope. Oh, he's done. Nice. That was a waste of error. Ow! Where'd you come from? I love those headshots. Okay. Just check this here. Need those shards. Always got to get those shards. Okay. All right. I'm going to be run back to the base and then get some more bandages. And we'll be back in a second. Okay, right, we're back. Uh, maybe some pickup and drive back. So I've made a, made a couple of bandages now. Let's see if we can get this finished before they respawn. Okay, so we want to try and scout out where they are. not necessarily like you're going to have lots and lots of shotgun shells on you. Although that is certainly one way to do it. And uh, I think it might actually be a bit dark, so let's have a look here. It gets it gets pretty dark on the recording. So I might have to wait till the morning actually. Let's do that. Um, hopefully they won't all respawn. Let's pull back and wait for morning. Because yeah, um, night vision goggles would be great. Okay, right, it's almost dawn, it seems to be bright enough now to uh, continue with the assault. At least, for the most part, you should be able to see. So, let's see, uh, nothing's respawned yet, as far as I can see. Check up there. There's that rocket soldier, but they're fairly easy to manage. So you can tell the difficulty of the Empire base by the color of the crates. Um, an easy base has green crates. Um, I believe it's green, blue, yellow, 
orange, purple, red. Oh, here's some pistol ammo and stick grenade. I haven't really found the grenades very useful in this game at the moment. I think that caught his attention. Might have caught his attention there. I think he used the rifle for this one. the higher damage output. I'm missing him. Not a mistake you can afford to make on low and low. There we go, got him this time. I mean, luckily I have. And I have that miss. Luckily I have I have sufficient ammo. But yeah, if you only had like fifteen or twenty rounds of ammunition. Jenny had 15 to 20 rounds of ammunition. Might be a little more difficult. There's definitely an issue with the hitbox here because I, sh I should be hitting him. I should be hitting him. That should have hit. That should have hit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for the body then instead. And even if you're going for the body. <laughs> even going for the body I'm managing to miss. Okay, there we go, he's down. And what else we got? There's a grenadier there as well. And the Grenadier also has quite a bit of health. So... I don't want to get too close to him. So we're not going to get backdoored by something. not good. In the bush, can't see him, but he can see you. <laughs> but you just love NPCs. Eh? Just love NPCs. I'm sure um, you guys can list in the game, a number of uh, list in the in the comments, a number of games that have these wonderful NPCs that ambush you. So where is he? Or is that him walking over there? I think it was an infantry soldier. Out of that shot miss. And he's down. Okay. Nothing in there. He's standing literally in that bush. I want to be out of here before the grenadier comes around again. Want that. Uh, like that, thank you. More blueprints. Oh. Nice. 
nicely done. Shotgun for the win. Oh, Molotov cocktail. I don't think I've ever actually used one of these. Let's see what it does. Run, 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 run. <laughs> And he seems to really do an initial damage to him. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really seem to do a, 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 a dot. It doesn't put a dot on him. No running up behind me while I'm looting. Hello. More alcohol. This definitely seems to be the booze base. Let's grab that. There's more. I've only just noticed the bandages don't tick over um, 60 seconds so using more than one bandage at a time doesn't actually help you kind of be wasting bandages then <laughs> so you're limited to 60 health regen and that went over his head Blueprint crates. Ah, oh, nice blue python. I'll take that. Don't worry about the green ones. They give you very little. They give you very little uh, bonuses. All-purpose machine gun. I can't. Technically, I uh, think I can use that now, but I mean, if you're we're assaulting the first base, you're probably not going to be higher than 28. Nobody up there? Okay. Ooh, explosives. Rifle ammo and small APM. Now, small APM is good for some of the vehicles. And you can take note of all the crate locations, they're the same for all of the bases. All the bases are pretty much the same asset. Oh, there was somebody in there. Can I get in here? <laughs> nice. Okay, first is clear. Banana. 
do have some food on me, but uh, clearing up inventory slots. Ooh, exotic metal blueprint pants. And the red jackhammer. Very good blueprint, that one. Alright, and here we have a blue crate. Which is slightly lower. In gates, stone roofs. Another Molotov external gas can. Can put that into my pickup truck. Alright, uh, let's get some more food and some more drink. Okay, that's this section cleared out, I think. Let me just double check around the corner here. Yeah. Bit of an odd greenish hue that came up there. Okay, let's go and check the side over here. Got some more guys to take out over there. Son of a bitch. That's how it goes. I mean, you, when you're assaulting a place, you need to make sure you have sufficient um, revive spots. And it costs you very little to put some uh, sleeping bags down. As you can see, AI can be well sneaky as well when they want to be. Okay. Nope. Wrong one. There's at least three of them over there. Let's see if we can clear this area out. Ah, fluffed it. <laughs> okay, not all of these doors open. So some of them you can go in, some of them you can't. And sometimes <laughs> she just flipped me the bird there. Almost looks like she did. Okay, let's check this crate here. Flashbang, more AP ammo, and it's pistol ammo. Now, um, I'm not sure if the loot table varies with your level. It may well. seem to be getting more small AP ammo than I remember getting. Um, yeah, I haven't measured or checked that or anything like that, so that's something maybe to do down the line is start a few new characters, 
add them at different levels and run these um, run these bases, these empire bases. That hasn't fluffed. He's down. I think he's down. Yeah, he's down. Run these empire bases at different levels. Ooh, jeez. I wasn't expecting him to actually hit me from that distance. Sometimes they can they can fluff just as just as bad as you can. But on that one he was laser spot on. And that's why he put down a couple of beds. <laughs> a couple of sleeping bags. You can go through respawns. So um Yeah, I think that's something I'll do. I'll start a couple of different games, get the characters at different levels. And then, um, I think I wasn't there before. Has he just respawned? Or did I just not see him? Could be I just didn't see him. Oh, my arm is broken. I think that might be why I died. Yeah, that's broken. Okay, um, let me go grab the pickup, head back to the base, and then. Um, Armor repair quickly. All right, I'm back. Uh, I've got all my stuff repaired. So let's uh, see if we can finish this base off. Where's that uh, patrol sergeant? He's missing again. You see that? Let's bug it off somewhere. See if we get this guy. Just the aimbot. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Uh, and probably just one more. Nope, that one hit the. There we go. Take that. Okay, so where is Flyboy? Turn right in the eyes there. Is that him? That's him over there. Okay, let's see if you take him out. Nice. Very quick reload on that one. Bandage. Get the close quarters gun ready. In case there's someone lurking around here. Okay, nope. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, not much. Let's go. Also, not much. Did I remember though? I'm as much good. Some mushrooms. Right, there's another box inside here. 
Ooh, gunpowder. Alright, so there's typically three entrances to the normal bases, the normal sort of checkpoint bases. So we've cleared two of them. Two of them. Actually, let's try the Molotov now. Oh, I missed an angry. It did actually burn them to death. Okay. So I think with the other one, I landed the shot on the ground which didn't seem to really hurt him as much I realize it's getting pretty dark um, see if we have any stragglers Yeah, there we go. Here's the guy I hit with the bow and arrow. Might have one more here. Nope. Nope, we're all clear. Alright, I think that's that's the whole base. Uh, stick grenade. So yeah, if you can get it, if you can get the Molotov on them. Oh, that's a nice blue top wear. If you can get the Molotov on them, then it definitely does more damage. Missile ammo, shards and talent books. Probably the the most useful thing you can get out. Yeah, I've got that one already. So yeah. And that's taking Empire Base. And I mean, that took me. Okay, I wasn't. I probably wasn't as prepared as what I should have been, especially not with bandages and stuff. All right, that's it for now. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep safe.